Okay guys, we're talking about two Milwaukee's tools. They're available in a combo kit. Today we're talking about the new M12 Fuel Brushless 2504 half inch hammer drill M12. And the 2553 quarter inch brushless as well, fuel quarter inch impact driver M12. Now like I said, these did come in a combo kit, which comes with the 4.0 battery, one 2.0 battery, the M12 charger, and a nice soft contractor bag, which, I mean, easy to carry around, and you can fit more than just the tools in there and the charger and stuff. So that's great right off the bat. Now, first things first, we're gonna talk about the drill. The drill, honestly, it's great. I'm gonna have a couple feature feature right here. I'm um, just drilling it and uh, drilling some holes through some wood and stuff. But the main part I wanna focus on is that electronic clutch. As an electronic clutch, instead of hearing the gears grinding, you know, when you hit it, it just, just stops. It's intelligent enough to just stop. So you got an easy electronic clutch, hammer, hammer drive, and it has an all metal key chuck here, which is great. Nice little belt loop tool, which can be taken out with one screw if that's all you, you don't want it. The bulk of it is kind of in the back side and on the handle, which makes it really, still really compact and a performable half inch truck. Meaning, uh, this tool may not have the extreme power for elongated drilling of you know metal fabrication and stuff, but for light drilling and stuff, you just don't have to switch in between which drill you're using for which bits. So when you're talking about a 12 volt, um, this thing can perform the power of an 18 volt, um, especially comparing it to the Milwaukee 18 volt. You know, this thing is up there. It just feels brushless, it is powerful. We've got two speed settings. Speed one, zero to 450 RPM. Speed two, zero to 1700 RPM. And bright LED light, which is actually really bright. Has the hammer drive, hammer drill feature if you need it. And that battery fuel gauge to let you know your power level of the battery you're using. So now I'm gonna show you kind of using this thing, drilling you know, through some wood. But the problem, the thing I just wanna say is this thing is really nice and tight. You can get through to what I needed to do and as a drill, Works great for me. But the main thing is, it is a hammer drill option. You got a simple click, it does do that hammer drill. Two speed setting, battery fuel gauge right there. Accepts the whole line of M12 batteries, including the XC 6.0. This is the 4.0 that we're testing it with today. Also, you can use the 2.0 amp hour battery. Quick reverse section, a really bright LED light. All metal chuck. There's no plastic here, this is all metal and half inch, so you don't really have to dull down the shank you're using, you know, really is an all-around capable tool. So the nice thing I like is the electronic clutch. So the drill mode, this is just a click electronic clutch. Basically, electronic clutch, instead of hearing that you just go down, stops. It's got electronic torque there, it just knows. Then you can set it right back up. It's small, compact. I'm gonna compare it against the half inch. When you compare it against the half inch Milwaukee uh, M18 version, brushless motor, you can see how much shorter it is. And it is shorter, but like I said, the great feature is that all metal hex. And when this thing is going to it may get scratched, but it's heavy duty enough, you're not just gonna be ripping on plastic to get it for. Now it's super powerful, I love it. This does give you the ability to go through a bigger, when you just want to drill out a, a hole really quick, you don't have to switch tools, you can just go right to a half inch drill bit. And it does it with the 4.0, it's no problem. It's got the power to do it. It's not gonna just slow down, go through, you know. You can see there that it just really didn't bog down. It just can go right through it multiple times. Buried right in there. You can drill multiple holes, the tool doesn't bog down. Now we're gonna talk about my new favorite, the 2553. Now this is a quarter inch impact, uh, quarter inch chuck impact, so you can put different bits. This thing allows you know for an auto technician to switch between you know screwdriver bits, hex adapters, and all sorts of stuff. You basically just one tool quick. And because the body is so small, having an adapter out on the ling out doesn't really change, you know, where I can get this thing in. And it's powerful enough to do the job. Um, I'm sure the lug nut wasn't attached appropriately, 
but as a joke with a coworker, I decided to go take a lug nut off with this. I was like, yeah, I can do it. And me not even thinking it actually pulled the lug nut off. So we'll see if it can do it, but I really don't think it will. What I kind of want to show you is that this thing is, can perform and is powerful. And when you do a size comparison, I was my little buddy for years. This is the uh, DeWalt 12 volt, you know, nice and tight. I actually love this thing. It still works to this day, but you know, I'm not saying I need this thing to get in super tight spaces for an auto technician, but it has performance duty, but there's limitations to it. Now this one far surpasses that, which is why it's my new favorite. And then you look at the size body in comparison, you know, this is, you can get right in there. You can just see that overall, the brushless motor, just super nice. Having that brushless, small compact weight, and it's not heavy at all. It's still as light as this one, you know, with or without the 4.0 battery. You, you want to make this thing really compact, you put the 2 amp power in it. Now, that being said, this thing does perform super well with the 4.0 battery, but really, what I'm focusing on is power to do the job, power to not be switching tools all the time, and that's why I love the impact driver so much. So we're going to show you, I, I'm currently doing timing chains on this Cadillac back here. I'm just going to show you, you know, standard use, what I would be doing with it is, you know, we're going to try to take away as many bolts as I can with one tool, not switching between impacts and stuff. So we're going to go forth and take this apart. You can see none of this stuff has been loosened up, but like I would just be going in here kind of attacking stuff. Um, on my cart, on my cart next to me, I would have my 8 mil, you know, stuff going on. So really, what I'm gonna do, switch. I'm gonna keep it drive mode three, just because I want full power. But I'm literally, just gonna undo this. We're just speeding up the job. Picking apart the intake. So now, uh, what I got here is a 10 mil. I want that off. That's just going to come right out. Now we're going to deal with that. We have Timbo back here. For that. Another 10 mil over here. You know what I'm just going to show you? We got intake manifold bolts. You know. You know, these are long shafted fasteners. You can take those right out, no problem. I think it just perform I'm getting tight spaces. I can even get you know, not huge. I can go for this 10 mil under here. You know, get that out of get that out of the way and just keep going with the job. I don't have to switch between tools, I switch between sockets and stuff, but it can still do it. And say I come across the Phillips bit or something, I can just undo it, switch to you know, a Phillips bit in my impact driver, and it's good to go. So like I said, it's very, uh, the tool performs very well. And, and the impact driver has those three drive modes, basically one, you know, lower setting, you're gonna be able to control a lot of, a lot of fasteners with it. So I wanna put this fastener in, but I don't wanna over target, this is setting one. trigger you know it can do it two you're gonna feel that increased weight three I don't want to strip this fastener but you know full power you can easily remove but three still is controllable with that variable trigger to just get into places so the fourth setting is uh, for a soft start for a self-tapping screw a lot of electricians and stuff would use this or you know some metal fabricators but it's something that I just don't really do around here so it's not really a setting I need on it but it is available for the tool so the impact driver can drive long fasteners it can drive you know take out long intake manifold bolts it's not a full-fledged you know half-inch drive impact it's not gonna take stuff all like that but it is very it performs very well you know standard fasteners and stuff in the shop of an auto technician and I truly have enjoyed my time with it it is seriously um, I used to switch between a couple different impact drivers uh, basically I would have a 3 8 one 
quarter inch one and this one just allows me to switch quickly between bits and sometimes I do still use this one if I know I'm going into a job where I'm going to have you know, multiple bolts to take off but this thing can replace them all and I really like that I also have the M18 version of the of this and this thing outperforms it I don't have the fuel version of my M18 I have I don't have the fuel version of the M18 so but this thing replaces it and I love it you get all that power in this small compact little tool it's tight the 4.0 batteries do add a little bit of uh, girth to it on the bottom but has it really affected me as an auto technician no I still truly love the tool it works great and I can't say enough about how good these ones are they just they perform super well the drill works as it should, the electronic clutch, this having the multiple, spe multiple speed settings, which are quick to activate. I can do it one-handed if I need to, you know, quick, click it if I got something else and I'm holding up. Um, but it's lightweight, <clears throat> it's lightweight and they just work excellent. So really, I mean, you can't go wrong with multi-pack getting both. Battery life on them is excellent. I've been using this one for days, still only at two. It's I charge them when I do. I charge them when I do, but the batteries last super long. You will, um, if you're drilling with the 2.0 amp hour battery on this one, you will kind of go through it quite fast if you're doing a high speed drill situation. Um, and with the 2.0 battery, uh, the drill will kind of hit those overload spots a little sooner. If you're really driven into something heavy, that really I wouldn't be doing with this anyways. Um, but I have happened a couple times, and I was purposely overforcing the tool to see its limits. Um, with the four pinel batteries, these things really don't give up. So, um, and just for kicks, I said I would do it. This is a uh, Cadillac STS. I've never actually taken the wheel off, just to take the hubcap off. I'll see if this can do it. I did it on a Chevy truck, and that was the impressive moment for me. So I'll just see if it can do it for you guys. Hey guys, here is the M12. Where's speed setting? Setting three, this is a half inch chuck adapter in the quarter inch. I've you know never touched this wheel before. If I'm lying, I'm dying. So here's kind of we're gonna have a darker situation. This is kind of nice showcasing of how bright that LED light is. You can really see what you're doing in the dark. So 19 mil. Uh, lucky nut, never take this out before. It's not torched uh, or loosened up by any means. Lug nut off. <laughs> see, see what I mean about the impressiveness of it? You know, my bit driver will be the one that takes the hit first, but this thing can take a lug nut off. Is that not showcase? That doesn't showcase how good it is. I don't know what does. Okay, so now I kind of wanted to showcase um, that same process again. I'm gonna torque this uh, faster to 100 foot pounds. That is. Hmm. Torque that to 109. If you can see that. I don't think you can. I'm torqued to 109 foot pounds. That same lug nut, can I remove it? Yes, I can. So we know it can take out 109 foot pounds with the right socket and impact driver combination. What, if it can do that, what can it do that you ask of it? So that fast acting 4,000 know, impacts per minute does the job to move fasteners the way you need to. So again, these are featured. Um, they can be sold by themselves. We got it in the combo kit. You can, you can get the new Field Brushless uh, drill driver, which doesn't have the hammer feature, but why not get the one that has the hammer feature and uh, the impact driver combo? You know, it's a no-brainer. You're gonna use them. You're gonna love them, especially if you're an auto technician. This thing is, this thing is a much added tool to the arsenal. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the review. Be uh, subscribed for a lot more like this one, and there are a lot more tool reviews coming up.